Welcome to another episode of Carbs. John Reckless, the show where I send a car. And BS, while Katsubi Carbs, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. Mad Zion Wee is the screen name. Go ahead, send me a picture of like your cat or your puppy or goldfish. Because I love having Snapchat wars where I'll just like either send a stupid face or try to send of uh, my cats back to you. So we are at Jack in the Box for two days. The first item we have here is the triple cheese and hash brown breakfast burrito. Ooh. Now, I got this, I'm filming this at like 2 something in the morning, and I am, I, I don't trust Jack in the Box that late at night for the most part. I don't, it's not Jack in the Box thing. I don't trust any of the fast food locations that late at night. I've had food poisoning before, specifically I've said it before, from McDonald's uh, off of their chicken nuggets off of getting food around this time. It, not in this area, it was maybe like... Th that way, even though you have no idea where I am. Some people do, though. That's always, like, an interesting idea. So, uh, yeah, but I'm taking a risk for you guys. Let's do this thing. Triple cheese and hash browns. I assume they just packed more cheese into this thing, and there's hash browns. What really makes this different is, I guess, it's just the cheese. They just put a lot more cheese in it than usual. I have not liked any of their breakfast burritos that I can remember from Jack in the Box. Maybe one? But most of them, they just always taste really cheap and nowhere near as good as just a mom and pop place, like a like a Brothers Burgers or Legends. Places that are chains, but not huge chains across the US like that. But let's try this thing out and see, uh, maybe this improved, I don't think so, improved the overall experience. It seems like they, I didn't really get much cheese, which is kind of funny. They just put, you have your egg, and then you have the hash brown kind of slapped on it. It's the same thing that Dunkin' Donuts does with its breakfast items, or breakfast burritos. It's, it's very, it's an odd way, instead of like mixing up the hash brown, they just slap it on top of it completely together and wrap it up. All right, let's get some of this, where, where is this cheese? There it is, I found all the cheese. You can see on the inside there, the cheese is right over here. The, the one thing that I thought was gonna be a problem with this is what's the problem, way too much cheese. <laughs> this side, my first bite, I got like no cheese. But then on this side, huge, huge, huge packet of cheese. It's distracting, it's too much cheese. And uh, it's just, I I feel like, again, just go to a mom and pop shop. Like, these are cheaper, yeah, I mean, for the most part, I think it was three something, you're saving a dollar. Unless you go to Legends, I think Legends breakfast burritos are like, I think they're six dollars, but Brothers Burgers are five. And then this is a much worse quality, and yeah, it's not bad food. But once you've had those, and it's only a dollar or two more to get a much better upgraded version, I just don't see the draw that Jack in the Box is uh, bringing with these breakfast burritos. Oh, I've way too much cheese. It kind of blends it up. All I taste is cheese. I, I get the texture of, you know, egg and of a uh, hash brown, but all I taste is cheese. <laughs> it's, it is too much. Maybe they should have only double cheesed it, not triple cheesed it. I would say that this is... Uh, just a, just a solid three. It's the middle of the road. This is a, you're on the way to go somewhere, and Jack in the Box is like the most convenient place because it's open all the time, no matter what, all locations. It never never fails. Like, I can't remember where we were going, uh, but Lori and I went on a trip, and we got up, and we had to leave the house by like 5.30 or 6 or whatever uh, in the a.m., and, but I mean, Jack in the Box is it. Now, all the other places are either like opening or or they're only serving breakfast, so, you know, you go to Jack in the Box out of desperation, but I just don't know about this breakfast burrito thing. I don't know, like, am I wrong? Is there is there some breakfast burrito that's at Jack in the Box that you do enjoy? Let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Carbs. You're on Reckless Eating. See you later.